Oh, those lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer are almost over. Are you financially ready for fall? Hi, I'm Wes Wood, the Income Guy and founder and president of Wood Financial Group. And for nearly 20 years, I specialize in helping hardworking Tennesseans just like you reach their retirement goals through income-based financial strategies. And if you are looking for the right solutions to achieve your own financial goals, I can help. Just reach out to me at RetireTV.com or by calling 615-826-5749 during today's show or at any time. We all know summer is the vacation season. We think of picnics and pool parties, but not too much about financial planning. And that's fine, but fall is back to school time. Time to refocus and learn. And with that in mind, class is now in session. And today, we're gonna teach you a lesson. Smart fall financial moves. Today I'm gonna to cover how to get a jump on tax saving strategies, how to potentially prepare for uh, changes in the financial markets, and how to greatly improve your financial future with just one simple move this fall. And joining me again this week is David Scranton. Dave is an investing for income specialist with over 30 years of experience, and he's also a best-selling author and television host. But before we get to Dave, let's talk about those tax tips. Spring is tax season, as everyone knows, but fall is the time when you should be taking steps to save money on your next year's tax bill. For instance, it's a great time to increase contributions to your 401k or your other retirement accounts. And doing so is a quick and easy way to lower your taxable income in the present, but also boost your source of retirement income for your future. And fall is also a great time to learn about year-end tax deadlines and get a jump on those things. For instance, charitable contributions is a great example. Rather than writing your checks to your favorite charities in December to, to meet the deadline for your deduction, make your contributions in the fall. Then, what you're gonna wanna do is look at your paycheck. Look at your paycheck, and this is a step that you can take every fall to make sure you're paying the right amount of taxes upfront each year. And you can use even IRS's tax withholding calculator by going to irs.gov to figure out if it makes sense if you need to adjust any amount withheld from your paycheck. Then, make a checklist of all your deductions you might be available for or you might think you're eligible for. Then, make sure you're tracking those expenses. Also, if you're over the age of 72 and you haven't planned for taking your required minimum distribution, now's the time to do it. As you know, Congress last year in 2020 suspended RMDs, but now they're back for 2021. And as you may also know, if you don't take your RMD by December 31st, you could face a huge IRS penalty. Finally, track down any missing money that you may have coming to you. For example, you still may be waiting on your refund or outstanding money from a stimulus check or perhaps reimbursements for overpaid taxes on unemployment income you've received. Millions of people are in this boat. And due to the pandemic, there has been delays in the IRS office and they're much more common than usual. But it's a good idea to make sure your situation is just a delay and it hasn't slipped through the cracks. And you can find out if your payment is still processing at irs.gov. But right now, you can learn more by downloading my timely report, The Case for Fixed Income. And it comes with your free retirement income kit. And you can get that by visiting retiretv.com or by calling 615-826-5749. But now, let's welcome David Scranton. David is the founder of Sound Income Strategies and the Retirement Income Store. Hey, David, thanks for joining me again today. Wes, I have to tell you, this is like the most fun part of my week is spending it here with you and all the <laughs> wonderful folks from Nashville. And Me you as know, well. Yeah, I guess, I guess my, 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 I think what your viewers would really like to hear is maybe getting the psychology a little bit as to why you think people tend to get a little less focused on money in the summer and then what they can do, what are some good swing thoughts for them to get back refocused right after Labor Day? 
Right. Summer, obviously, is the time that people take to relax, just get their mind off of some of the stresses of life, maybe do vacation, spend more time with family. And really, financial planning or, or money um, really doesn't come into mind. But it can also be used just as a, as a refresher summertime. But what we don't want to have happen is people forget to refocus on their finances. In fall, Labor Day is a great time to, to, to get back in the saddle and look over your finances and make sure you're taking advantage of every opportunity possible. It absolutely is. And what's interesting, and, and I know this as you do, but I think what's going to be surprising to your viewers a little bit is you said it's a great time right after Labor Day to start focusing on your tax strategies because most people think that's done in April, right? Yep, that's right. We, we have a tax practice at our, at our company at Wood Financial Group, and, and a lot of people are under the assumption the time to save taxes is in you know, February, March, or April when they're filing their return from the previous year. But that's the problem. You're preparing a return that's already, for a year that's already passed by. So the way to actually save money on taxes is to be proactive within the year that you're, that you're, about, that you're gonna be filing for next April. So this is the time in, in the fall to really take advantage of some of those tax saving strategies. One of them, for instance, is uh, you know, charitable contributions. You know, many charities could uh, use the money now in the fall rather than waiting to the very last minute in December to, to do those contributions. So this is the best time ever to save money on taxes in the year 2021. Take advantage of opportunities now. Yeah, well, by January 1st, it's too late to save any taxes for this year. You right. have to work on next year. Which brings me to what you also talked about, about increasing your pre-tax contributions, whether you could still do a deductible IRA or you're putting more money into your 401k at work or maybe 403b or 457 plan. Um, because there's, there's almost never a bad time to max out those pre-tax accounts for most, right? Uh, that's right. And, and the employer-sponsored programs that are offered through work, like your 401k, your 457, your 403b, you need to max it out in this year. Uh, an IRA, you can, you can make the contribution next year up until April 15th to apply for this year, but we need to max those other contributions out now. And obviously more money put towards retirement is, is better in the long run. I mean, think about it. If you have saved up $800,000 for retirement, that may give you at 4% interest in dividends $32,000 a year, but what if you can make more contributions and get it up to a million dollars, which would give you $40,000 of income? And we don't want to forget that a lot of employers will match dollar for dollar on a portion of your contributions, and that's free money. A great opportunity to look at it is now. But Dave, hey, stay with us, and we're going to talk more in just a bit. But coming up after the break, I'll talk more about what fall might hold in store for the financial markets and how you can prepare. I'm Westwood, the Income Guy, and you're watching The Retirement Income Show. A fiduciary is someone legally obligated to act in your best interest. Doctors, lawyers, and some financial advisors are fiduciaries, but not all. When you work with Wes Wood and his team at Wood Financial Group, you are working with fiduciaries. They help clients create customized investment portfolios based off their retirement goals. If you're ready to work with a fiduciary, visit RetireTV.com and schedule a free, no obligation conversation with Wes or a Wood Financial Group advisor. Hi, I'm Wesley Wood, host of the Retirement Income Show, and I'm founder and president of Wood Financial Group. And we're a local independent financial services company that specializes in creating custom retirement solutions tailored to meet your particular needs. Visit RetireTV.com to learn how we can help you create a customized retirement portfolio. 